Icelander Harry Hookie's debut album, Misdiagnosed, was nominated for a 2014 Aria Award for Best Blues and Roots album. It's been over a year since Harry appeared on Live at Spectrum, so we thought it was time to catch up with one of our audience's favourite musicians to find out what he's been up to. Kawa Cricket Club is what it's called, but we all call it the Kawa Pub, you know. You get to see old friends, and, and the, the great thing about this place is too, like, uh, people are really, real supportive. People come out and they'll, they'll come and catch the show, even if they're hearing songs they've heard a thousand times before. They'll come out, have a good time, have a couple of drinks, and it's always, um, this place is very dear to my heart, you know, like, had some special nights here, and, and every gig, hey, you got <laughs> Mills is delivering the beers. Just do that one for Mills. And you get beers? And we get beers, how about that? And like, Bella and Lena. And we, um, we just, um, yeah, we mic the beer. <laughs> no, it's um, a, a real dear place to my heart. I played my first ever gig here about 10 years ago to um, three people and a dog. And um, from there on, it's been like a, a, a crazy wild adventure. But every once in a while, I'd love to come home and, and play. And I get to jam with my family. We, we actually haven't played together for the um, best part of six months, I think. So um, we might be a bit rough around the edges tonight, but that's part of the fun too. Uh, so I'm doing this um, this house concert tour for the rest of the year, and actually, funnily enough, um, as it were, like I'm playing them, two house concerts in Kawa. Kawa's, yeah, both, <laughs> yeah, both, both of them. I'm playing both of them. <laughs> the house shows, you, you get a real uh, intimate connection with your audience. You get people who are um, there to listen to your music, people, and you kind of go away from it having made a whole lot of new friends and stuff and, and that's what these kind of gigs or this gig in particular feels to me it's it's old friends all coming out to hang out together and um, it, it, it's, it's it's something really special so the house concerts are um, kind of like, a, like a, a similar in the sense that you go to someone's place you meet all their friends you hear their stories and um, you, you all, the gigs are like unwaveringly good because people are there to listen to music and um, are, are ready to get into it uh, well, I'm uh, finalising the my record, uh, my second record, which is um, it's been a long time coming, um, but the, the the wheels of the music industry work in, in mysterious ways. They take a bit of time sometimes, but I'm really excited about it. Um, really proud of how it's sounding and, and everything. So it's all recorded. So, all recorded and everything. We recorded at the end of last year. Put a, a, a bunch of um, overdubs on it uh, lately, but um, like in the last couple of months. But now it's all 100% done, being mixed at the moment, and um, fingers crossed, we'll have an EP out by the end of the year as a sort of uh, a, a taste of what things to come. And then um, next year, early next year, drop the record and I'll be back on the road. I mean, I live on the road, I love it. I don't kind of wait for the album to come out to play the new songs live, um, but it, you know, it, it's something different. You know, you, you can hear a song live and, and be connected to it, but to, to actually take it home with you and, and really listen to it and. Um, kind of uh, let it grow on you, you know, that's an important facet too. So I'm really looking forward to having it in people's ears. And, and to be honest, man, like, I, um, I'm already thinking about the next one. I've started writing for that already. And it's, it's one of those insatiable things. I always want to, you know, you, I'm always striving to make the perfect record, you know, and you, you try and improve on, on uh, the mistakes of the last. Not that I'm really proud of how it sounds. But. Don't ask me why I look so long. Cause my feet were barefoot moving Wherever I go I mean, I, that's why I, I love, respect guys like Bob Dylan so much you know, He was so prolific because when he when he had the urge He would just go on and make the record no matter what Even if it was rough around the edges Even if he, he sung out of tune he, You know, there's one album in particular My, my favourite album I reckon is um, Another Side of Bob Dylan which, which he recorded after a gig and he sings a little bit out of tune, his guitar's a bit out of tune, but the spirit is 100% there. And I'm sure he would look back on it and go, I could have done that better, but the songs are great and he's got so much um, soul in the way he delivers them. And that, to me, that counts for more than, than uh, all the technical pro out, pro out. See, the auto-tune, exactly. And that's what I kind of miss in modern music is the, the little um, imperfections of the character, you know? <laughs> thanks, Harry. Well, well, thanks so much, Brett. Thank Pleasure. Thanks, Spectrum, guys. Wherever I go So don't I